we want to show everyone that males of color or any male that is getting our curriculum can learn, they can achieve at high levels. Not long after the JCPS school board approved Males of Color Academy in June, Robert Gunn was hired on as principal and the school was given a new name, W.E.B. Du Bois Academy. The school will be for male students of any race with a curriculum focused on leadership, global views and Afrocentricity. A lot of times our history books starts with slavery um, in the United States of America and that's where the black experience began. Mm -hmm. What we failed to do is go back to what were um, folks who were enslaved, what were they doing in Africa? And our students oftentimes don't know that they were some of the best scientists in the world, some of the highest performing scholars, um, kings, they were from royalty. The middle school opens next year to a max 150 sixth grade students and will grow to about 450 students grades six through eight. My goal, my vision, my dream is that we do so well their sixth, seventh and eighth grade year um, that the district won't have any choice but to make us a six through 12 year. But first Gunn says they need to iron out the basics like where the school will be located. He says they've narrowed the search to two sites. One is a JCPS facility um, that's up for renovation, um, but there has to be a couple of other things that happens before that uh, location can be solidified. Um, other areas we're looking at, we've been talking to the Frasers. The district's considering a long-term option of housing the school at the Fraser Museum downtown. He expects a final decision to be made on Thursday. Gunn says from there, it's hiring the school's nine teachers, two counselors, and an assistant principal. A staff he expects to be just as eager as he is to open the new school. Um, I know that there's been resistance um, a lot of the way of the process. So I think that it will be a very redeeming and a very empowering moment um, for myself, a lot of district leaders, and especially for those young men. Julie Dolan, WLKY News.